are we? I'm Barry! Howdy, you junkie. Come on! Please shoot him! Some guys stole your crown. One and the bad guy stole your camera and, and the bad guy passed your window off and somebody stole your computer and the police officer found your window! Oh. Yes. All right, guys, so we came to Bear Lake. Look at this, I'm using my camera. For those that don't know, you need to be following me on Instagram because you would have been in for the, one of the wildest rides of your life. I had my entire career stolen from me from Top Golf, And so I just want to give you guys a quick brief, I don't know, it might be a little long, of just the story for those that didn't see it, but also just for our own sake to put on the vlog because uh, this is stuff that we want to remember and uh, while it's still fresh in my mind, I want to talk about it. And I'm also going to make a little documentary for my other YouTube channel that's more professional telling the whole story because it's amazing. So I was at Top Golf with one of my good friends, Jared, and we came outside. I looked at my window and it was completely smashed in. All right, I was just at Top Golf, and my car got broken into. Closer and all of a sudden I realized they stole my whole camera bag and my gym bag, which has everything I ever need in it. It's got laptop, hard drives, hard drives loaded with footage of family stuff and also work that I hadn't finished. Everything was in that bag. My entire life. Laptop, two cameras, all my hard drives that have all my videos, not just my personal videos, multiple jobs that I haven't finished. They went into Top Golf to try to find the footage, the other two went into Maverick to to find footage of like any surveillance footage that they could find. It's like really hard to talk, I am drive, because we're trying to find a sledding hill right now to take the boys. So I'm gonna pick this story back up at the point that my stuff got stolen and everyone went into Top Golf and Maverick to find surveillance footage when we find a hill. He's gone. Okay, so we're down here. What's this place called? No, we can't ride this. The sink or The sinks. No, nope, these are ours, bud. So every year we want to try to start the year out with a yearly beginning of the year, set your goals, go out to a place with a, with a pool more than anything. And we like this place so much that we might end up coming back here. Cute. Hi. <laughs> okay, buddy, you're up. Whoa, it's slippery. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hold on to the string. And go, Nixon! <laughs> Dude, what did you do? I, I, I just went right there and I went back up to this big snow. You hill. did it! <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> He's just like, whatever, this is weird. How am I stuck? Oh no! Oh, oh no! They obviously smoked and their car stunk and just made everything smell so bad. So we're just on the onboard mic right now, which isn't that great, but it's better than nothing, right? You coming, dude? So anyway, after uh, we went to Top Golf, they ended up seeing that the car literally looked motivated to go to, to my car. So for a while we were like, did I get stalked? What the heck happened? So they went up to the car, got out punched out the back passenger window and just pulled my stuff out and pieced out. Wasted no time. And then got in their car and buzzed past the Maverick. Went around the corner right under one of their cameras. Dude. They wouldn't give us the footage. You ready to do some more, dude? Yeah. Okay, here we go. And action. So Maverick wouldn't give us any footage. We saw the footage from Top Golf. Car pulled in right here, extremely motivated, like they knew what they were after. Came straight up to my car and just punched it out, pulled my camera bag, which had probably 20 terabytes of footage. 
we ended up finding out that there's a camera here. The car pulled away, went around this corner. So we're, Maverick was no help. They wouldn't release the footage to us until tomorrow morning. So we're just kind of sitting here at a loss until tomorrow morning. So I basically saw it as a lost cause at that point when we couldn't make out the, the make of the vehicle on the cameras. It's like I text Haley and she's like, no way, she's crying. Can't believe this has happened. And the police basically didn't want to help much because they get 20, 30 calls like this a day. So they didn't take it very serious, which I can understand that. We didn't get anywhere. It was like a three hour process at Top Golf where we weren't getting anywhere with anybody. Robin taped up my window with uh, tin foil, which is really nice of her to do. All right, so here's the aftermath. We got my window taped up. Thanks to these dudes for helping me get as far as I did, but it was basically useless. I uh, got in my car, started driving home, and it was just <laughs> Ended up busting out the window. Good try, though. I was just in shock like the whole time. Um, I kept getting comments that I was handling it really well. I wasn't like freaking out or anything. I was freaking out inside, but I was just hoping that everything was gonna turn out for the good because I just I just believe that Jared kept saying to me and Maverick, he's like, dude, I don't know why I just get these feelings that this is gonna be a good thing. It's gonna turn out. My whole life was in that car, so it was hard to to think that I was getting yeah. it back and anything was gonna go good. You're doing so good, bud. Yeah. Are you having fun or what? I'm having fun. Do you want me to go with you? Yeah. Should we go together? You sure you're ready for this? Yeah. Come on. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Here we go. Oh no. on your saucer. You ready? Don't be mad if I give you a spin. Woo! Oh, that didn't work. Go! You're too light. Whoa. Yeah, that one doesn't work for you very well. So anyway, that was such a rough night. It was so hard because it really started to sink in, we were both crying. So I actually just decided, I'm just gonna put on Instagram what I've lost. If these people are stalking me and they do see what I post, I was a little bit worried about them seeing it and be like, oh, I'm not gonna put this up on KSL. And I said, well, I'd rather have them hold on to it than start passing it around and selling it. So I put out a post with everything on Instagram. And that post went nuts. Instagram went crazy. For the next two days, I had people reposting and posting all over the place. The support was unbelievable. So that was really cool to be a part of. Anyway, long story short, I had people sending me things, you know, try these things out. So I actually, we pursued two things, a, a camera and a laptop that looked just like mine. And they ended up just being a goose chase. We didn't get anywhere with them, but we got pretty tactical. We're like, okay, let's do this and we'll do this. We'll help meet during the day. But we're thinking these guys are good. These guys know what they're doing. And so basically we ended up, we ended up going out to dinner. And it was like the third day I did one last little push. I had a post on Instagram and said, hey, if you're following me, I am willing to offer you a cash reward to get my stuff back. I am willing to give it to you. So please just give it back. I just basically said, I'll pay you what you ex were hoping. I like, it's like, it was worth so much to me personally because of the family memories that I was losing out on. Probably three hours after I posted that, I ended up getting a phone call from the police officer that found my stuff. And he goes, hey, Tyson, uh, you lost a camera bag, right? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, I think I found it. And I'm like, just lost my mind. I was so excited, I could not believe what I was hearing. I go to Haley, I'm telling her, I'm telling the family because we're in cubbies and up there, everyone's just freaking out, I'm super excited. So I got excited. He first was like, hey, I want you to come and I'll probably get back in touch with you uh, so you can come and confirm this stuff is yours tonight. Are you coming, Nix? All right, I'm gonna do one with Luca real quick. So we have 
Luca with us, right? Nowhere to set him. Kind of annoying. Hey, oh, there he goes. Go, go, go. But that's all right. He's having fun. Hi, huh, buddy. You having fun? Yeah. What's mommy doing? Hi, right, baby. How's the day going? It's good. I um, normally don't like being out in the, in the snow all day. <laughs> California girl. This is actually really fun, and I'm not even cold. Yeah. Makes it like so fun when you're not cold. This turned out so good. We got yeah. almost clear skies and just super warm weather. Like I kind of wish we were snowboarding right now. Yeah. Oh, Josh is, you know, he's at the Beaver Mountain right no here. No way. They're just telling me. Luke is happy. He's nice Don't and Don't go warm. yet, Nick. The snowmobiles are coming. What? Yeah. I want to go with you. Go just one more time. No. Please, just sit with no. me. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Is daddy boring? Oh wow, we're already we're already there, huh? That's my spot. You want me to sit in the front? Yeah. But then we won't go fast. You won't be able to see. Alright, so then he calls me back when I get home and he says, Hey, don't worry about tonight, we're in pursuit of this lady. And I'm like, what, are you kidding me? You actually are on her trail? And so he says, come back tomorrow and we'll have you confirm the stuff. So me and Haley were just excited. We're just like, what is going on? All I know is I'm excited and he started like telling me what was in the bag. And I'm like, this is my stuff. This is everything that I care about. We go home. Um, I haven't posted anything yet about it. And then he calls me back and he says, actually, I want you to come tonight. Okay. He said as, as much as possible, if you can bring anything to, to kind of prove ownership of what's there. Yeah. I assume with the camera or with the uh, laptop and stuff, just having, you know, just being able to log into that yeah. and, you know, everything there. I know I have the pictures of your family and stuff on the one camera, but yeah. maybe just have any of the serial numbers or anything. All right, so police officer called me a little bit ago. Oh. See ya. Said they found my bag. My laptop, hard drives are all there. Camera bag, cameras, lenses. The only thing they didn't have were my AirPods. The gym bag, they don't have yet, but like you heard it, they are still hopeful that they might find everything crazy. Tonight. I want you to come tonight to see, and I'm, oh my gosh, where do I need to be? So I jump in the car, buzz out, and that's when my Instagram started. Uh, keeping people alive. So I got in the car, buzzed over to the place, and I met him out at his police car. And he instantly pulls out the bag. And, uh, God only knows what else. And he's like, is this yours? And I'm like, yep. And then I started like naming off every single thing that was in there. And by the time he opened it up, I got, I saw that there was the cameras first, all the hard drives. So there's all the hard drives, and you described all those to me, so I'm not yeah. like super worried about those. And I'm just like, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, and they had my AirPods too, you showed me that. And I just opened up my phone, instantly connected to my phone. That was all there. Um, anyway, everything except for my passport, gym bag, they weren't able to get. They said that my gym bag most likely got ditched because they saw there was nothing of value in it. So then he's like, let's go inside. I'm gonna take some pictures of everything. And I get inside and I find out while I'm in there that the people that stole my bag are in the room next to where I sit. I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I hear one of the guys come out and go to the bathroom. And I'm, I stand up and I see the back of his hood and he starts walking away. So I stand up and I'm like sitting against the wall and I'm like, I'm getting a shot of this guy. And I waited for about five minutes and then he comes back out of the bathroom and starts walking towards me. And I pull out my phone and I started recording. I was like, how often do people have the chance to see the person that stole their stuff? It doesn't happen. What happened, buddy? Oh no. So that's poor kid. We had no idea. He was getting blisters the whole time we were sledding. That's why he got pretty hungry. So he's just toughing it out. You're being so good, but I'm so glad you're so tough. So anyway, I'm gonna continue the story about how the cop found the bag as soon as we're gonna get. Okay, so I've got to finish this story. We just got done swimming, it was a blast. Swimming pools, just over there, super fun. 
So I was gonna finish the part about how the cop ended up finding my camera bag at South Town Mall. He's like, I'm a cop, but I don't spend a lot of time doing anything else other than working at school. So he's like, I was at South Town Mall and I was looking for kids sloughing. So he ended up going to the mall, walking around, and this lady was super suspicious. She was super high, so he went up and started talking to her. He's like, I just asked her, can I search your vehicle? He didn't t tell me how he got to that point, but he's like, can I search your vehicle? So I, I was actually just out of South Town Mall, like just there. Um, and I found her and it's something completely unrelated uh, and she ended up letting me search the car. I found the camera bag. And he's like, there's no way this is her stuff. So he starts looking through it, opens up my camera and sees the pictures of me and my family on the camera. So he's like, all right, this is definitely not her. So he goes, so are these your cameras? She goes, oh no, those are my cousin's cameras. She's a photographer and a graphic designer. So she, you know, these are her things. And he goes, what does she look like? Oh, brown hair. And he's looking at a picture of Haley. And he's like, mm, definitely not. So he's like, is this her? And she goes, oh no, that's probably a client. And it's like videos from Christmas. In there and just everything just kind of seemed off with it. Um, a bunch of red flags. So I kind of just looked at it. Um, and I, I just took him as a hold for owner to try to find out who they were. So he took a huge risk on his part as a police officer and he decided to take the stuff away from her. That's a big risk because he could lose his job over that. He's basically stealing from her, but he just knew it wasn't hers. So he got back to... What's up, dude? And then when I got back um, to the office, uh, one of our detectives told me about your KSL article. And I'd looked through your camera and saw the pictures of you and your family and stuff on there. Mm -hmm. And so when he pulled up the article, I recognized your picture from that. And so that's kind of how I just put it all together. So. Okay, yeah, that's amazing. Okay, cool, man. One of the detectives there goes, hey, that's the bag from the guy on the KSL article. And so he's like, let's see if, do you remember what her car looks like? Let's match her car up with what the Maverick uh, surveillance footage picked up. So they look at it and he's like, oh my gosh, that's her car. They're like, boom, we got to arrest her. So they knew what the car looked like, so they just put out to everyone else, and they somehow knew that she was at some hotel, so they sent a police officer over there. He walked around the parking lot, ended up finding her car out of chance. So they go up and they go up to her room and arrest her, but she wouldn't let them search the hotel room, which is where she had a lot of other stuff. Hold on one second, buddy. She had a lot of other stuff in there. So they bring her in, and that's when he called me, and I went in to pick up my stuff. So inside the hotel, to make this story short, is that they ended up getting a warrant for the hotel, found another pair of my AirPods, and that was it. I ended up losing my passport and my 30 liter travel bag with all my gym stuff, which is fine. I got my footage back, I got my cameras back, so I'm happy. Oh my gosh, I got my freaking camera bag. Smells like weed, that's for sure. It's right here, guys. Peter McKinnon X Nomadic Bag can't believe this ended up that way. Like seriously, one of the craziest experiences of my life. But more than anything, I learned the power of social media and just how many people can rally together and just be amazing and just help out in such a cool way. Not walking in empty handed tonight. Oh, turn around, turn around. Ah. Oh my gosh, is this really happening right now? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is the bag that we have been dying about. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> I think I just got high smelling that bag. <laughs> That's the story. It's pretty short. Um, there's a lot more details that I could touch on, but I just want to give you guys the brief of it. For those who didn't follow me on Instagram um, and didn't see it live, there's a highlight on my Instagram. If you want to go see those, just head over to Tyson J. Henderson and check those out. So anyway, we are finally going to go get some raspberry shake, which is super famous in Bear Lake. And so they're out of season. We ended up finding out that we can get them at the gas station. So me and Lou Nixon are going to head over there and get those things right now. Coming? Me, I called me boss, and I said that. We're making our shakes. Our own private fireworks. How about that? <laughs> Again?